So sometimes the best approach when tackling errors is actually to read them. <laughs> so sometimes they make sense, sometimes they don't. Well, feature names may not contain either of these two. It's interesting that XGBoost has that. Well, actually the problematic column has that. So this is not, this is the one that we should be getting rid of, right? Because if you know that, then of course you know 93. So let's just delete this column, then maybe it'll work. Haven't tried it. But, it, but I've used this data set before. Normally that, that column is not in it. So if we delete that column, um, well, I meant to put that in quotes here. And let's make sure that that works. Press Shift Enter. Okay, deleted it. Now I can just try to run this again. Now look, XG Boost builds 100 de de decision trees, okay? So on top of the cross-validation, that's an additional factor of, you know, it's not one model, it's 100 models. So, you know, we're going from, I think we were at 10 million, we're looking at like a billion now data points. So what we're gonna do is limit the number, okay? And the way you do that, there's an N estimators, this is like the number of trees. So instead of 100, we're just going to do 10. That's just to speed it up. You can even do five. I think you get comparable results with five. So it's only doing five, five decision trees. It weakens the model, but, you know, one, we just want to see if it's going to work. And two, it did not, it still did not work. So, man, I've back to, to the drawing board. And just, just to note too, I, I want to share with you, you all one other approach. It's kind of good that we're getting some errors here. You can sometimes get stuck in something that you did in code and sometimes runtime restart and run all. I don't think it's going to work here, but it can, where there may have been something that got changed, like that you didn't indicate and, you know, you know, a restart can potentially help. So yeah, same, same issue. Maybe there's another one column that contains an underscore or this. I didn't get this issue before when working on the text, so I think, and it's, it's frankly weird that they're doing it. Okay, let me give one more shot at this and go back to the drawing board, but, but like I like to check stuff live with you all because this is sometimes the way that it is. You get unexpected errors and you gotta dig a little, okay? When you're dealing with kind of clean data that's been checked in advance, you can have a clean experience and everything's gonna be smooth. But when you're dealing with data in the real world, you're gonna get errors. It's all about being persistent and checking them. And just to show you, like, you know, I, I can put this in, okay, and, like, like, see what comes up, right? So, you know, I can put that in, and maybe I put it in with XG Boost just in case, in case. And you see that it does show up on Stack Overflow. So it can be worth checking out. And when I go in Stack Overflow, I often check, like, the first three the first three ones, um, you know, note that what you see here, 13 people are liking this question, meaning maybe they've had the issue. And so, you know, look, someone ha has a solution here that 24 people liked. And, it, and the check mark also means it was approved by the original person who asked the question as the answer. Okay, so I'm just giving you like a little idea of how to navigate Stack Overflow. Be a little small, but you know, so like, look, here's a way to remove these. Yeah, they're using regular expressions here. Okay, so <laughs> you can force remove these. I'm gonna, ch I think it has to do with the PD get dummies. Like, there may, there may be in, I don't think there should be that, but it's surprising that this doesn't work. So, here is some regular expression stuff to get rid of it. And yeah, there's a lot of code to copy, but I could try to copy it. And, you know, you could even check, you know, another another answer. And th this doesn't use regular expressions. This is why it's worth looking at multiple answers sometimes, right? Just because you see one doesn't mean you have to use that way. Very interesting. Reorder the pandas data frame. Now this may have to do with a different kind of a question. Feature names mismatch, yeah. And again, another feature names mismatch. So that's just a little bit about troubleshooting errors. And I'm going to look at it one more time. 